Magnetog versus Mr. R. Now this is um Alabama. this actually might be winter finals at this pool. Um, I could definitely see that. Magnetog got fifth last year, I think, um, at what the box. Okay, so good stuff to him and Yeah, I Mr. think he's R. ranked number two on the Alabama power ranking too. Oh yeah. Oh, just to clarify one more time, I do not believe Mr. R is sponsored by Lowland Lions anymore. I'm pretty sure he's a free sponsor. Um, but anyways, back to the game. We see Mr. R off to a strong start, taking good advantage of Diddy's Bananas when he can. Yeah. I mean, I was playing Mr. R earlier, um, and obviously, like, Diddy's, like, one of the times when Diddy's in his most vulnerable state is when he's off stage. And guess what, like, Sheik's, uh, likes to do is put people off stage. Of so, course. So that's, like, definitely the roughest part of this matchup. And a lot of times I feel like one hit would just put you off stage just, like, board air chain someone. Uh, and then you just have to be like, super careful how you use your double jump. Oh, yeah. So, like, one thing I d also realized in this matchup with Cheek is having a local. Oh, okay, right there we see a 50 yeah, 50. He could air dodge out of it, but if you don't, then you just. Well, eat. I think he also DI'd like up. Yeah. Like, Actually, I'm, I don't think you want to DI up from forth. You want to DI away, right? What do you think is a proper. I, I believe DIing up and away is a proper DI, but I'm not 100% sure on I mean, that. Yeah, I usually just always DI away. Okay, that makes sense. But again. I'm at DI away on like all of Sheik's throws. I'm not sure if it's worth it on some, but oh my god, Mr. R is just doing yeah. a great job of reading Magnetox's habits in general. He's just making sure that, hey, after this nair, you're going to air dodge. After this nair, you're going to air dodge. After this nair, you're going to throw out a hitbox. I feel as if Mr. R is just kind of playing on another, another level right now. It's going to take it, yes. Yep. So right there, um, Magnetox unfortunately DIing in on the down yeah, uh, back, back, throw. back throw. Yeah, yeah. and if, if you DI in on Sheik's back throw, then it does put you in a 50-50 situation. So you always just have to be ready to DI out. As long as you DI out, it's no 50-50, well, nothing else. I feel like that's you. also a 50-50 um, a in itself. Is it? It's because the throws are fast. No, so. well, it's like, well, is she going to back throw or is she going to down throw? And if you like DI the, if you DI the back throw away, and you're, you mean, like if you're holding away, you DI the back throw away. But if you're holding away when he down throws, then you like land inside the sheik, so, um, oh, yeah. which sets up for a 50-50. That's so very it's sort of like a. Um, like a 25% and then you'll get a hit. Oh yeah, that's very true. But anyways guys, on to game two. We have FD. Yeah. Nice two frame with the down tilt trying to hit Bowser Jr. out of the up B. This is... That, like those tumble oh, yeah. This is the one character that mystifies me. Oh Wait, my, okay. what the... I was like... I don't even know, okay. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> can I he, even go to the stage for a second. I was like, what are you doing? Can he do that? I, I have I no don't clue. think... I would not be surprised if he could have smash though. I actually bet he could uh, pretty easily, actually. Well, oh, FD, yeah. I don't think there's any way you'd make him FD. Side B is amazing for recovery tool. But um, we saw Magnetalk off to a strong start. Got his clown car set up. Got some damage off of that. But uh, I think Mr. R realized, like, hey, I'm not going to give you the room to do that anymore. I'm just going to start rushing you down and just keeping you yeah. contracted in a small space. Nice up air strength. That's coming from Magnetalk today. Oh, yeah. Uh, Magnetalk fighting back though, doing a great job of getting the damage in where he can. Oh, so he wow. did this, yeah, he did his Z drop down there. Um, and what that does, I, mean, I, try to ask, I actually don't remember what that does. I feel like, I think when it explodes, it doesn't hit you. If you Z drop and you down air and you I don't catch even, it. It looked like the timer on it reset for a second because it stopped flashing and it stopped ticking. It I don't remember. Oh my There's god, something is that first stop? Well, yeah, Magnetalk fake first stop. Alright, so good stuff to Magnetalk just taking that sock rather solidly. That's not gonna do it. Bowser Jr. is a big boy. Yeah. And a clown card. Well, yeah, if you hit the clown car, it does less knockback and stuff and damage. But if you hit Bowser Jr., then it does like more. Oh my oh, he god, he can make it. That's so silly. Okay, but he has he has no um yeah, 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 that's death. That should be death. Well he I think he could might have been able to DI away on that. Oh yeah, oh. he he could have, but I believe Mr. R hit him with the DI mix up again, oh, so he? yeah. Mr. R seems pretty good at that. Yeah, it's actually not that hard to do with Sheik consistently. I've seen a lot of Sheiks do it on purpose, so it's not like Super, super hard. But immediately after that first stock is gone, Mr. R is putting on the pressure, throwing it in the forward airs here and there. Yeah. The down air the not damage. safe on shield. Oh, yeah. He's just yeah, getting he forced out of it. He sort of tried to just hope that, um, hope that like, the down air shield goes. And that's kind oh, yeah. of the situation. Now, what I want to see Magnetot do is go back to his clown card game because that seemed to be a little bit more effective for him. Just yeah, getting in the percent where he can. Yeah, okay. We see, yeah, we see the Z jump stuff again. Okay, no, so. Oh, no, I forgot. I was going to say, if you pick up the the uh, Mecha Koopa when it's it's about to like, explode and it's flashing, right. uh, then it uh, it resets the timer. Interesting. Did not know that. So knowledge drops from player one. Um, but uh, just about an even game here. Uh, yeah. Now the player really wants to approach 
And I think this is what he needs to do. Just punish out of shield with whatever he can with Mecha Koopa. It's okay if you take a couple of needles. You're not going to die to 150 anyway, as long as you don't get hit by yeah. Nair to up smash or Nair to Bouncing Fish or anything like that. Yeah, and that Mecha Koopa is going to force Mr. R to Bouncing Fish out of that corner, but going to put him in a vulnerable position just to do that. Ooh, this is scary. Ooh, what are we going to see here? Okay, yeah, nice neutral. Yeah, that's a good uh, option to come down with. I think he's being a little bit too hasty with these Mecha Koopa drops. I was actually going to think, uh, say, side B, because he's been coming in, and Mr. R's just been respecting it every time, or just stuffing it with needles. But, well, I mean, every time he gets a Mecha Koopa, mm. I feel like he just immediately throws it away. Oh, yeah. Ooh, this is a scary spot. Mix-ups? Okay. Nice landing there. Oh, and fun fact. Bowser Jr.'s order actually has a landing hitbox on it for oh, whatever yeah. reason. Ooh, doesn't want to be in that situation. Is he going to run him down? Yeah, that'll actually kill the uh, like the brakes of the Tom car. Mm -hmm. Oh, he won't. oh my it. god, and he falls yeah. for it, and he got it. All right. Yeah, yeah good stuff from Magnetox. That switch definitely working out. Oh, yeah. Who says Bowser Jr. is a low tier? Definitely not I. I do. <laughs> <laughs> Well, according to Magneton, he has something He's to say underrated. about that. I think Bowser Jr. is underrated. I think so, I too. Of, so I think scary. a lot of people, like, after Tweet dropped the character, just lost a lot of faith. And it's like, man, this character is actually I don't, bad. But, I don't think he's But horrible. we saw some things from, you know, like Jade, like CEO. And we've seen that there's other Bowser Juniors out there. There's Seagull Vice Joe, shout out to you. Vice Script from the West Coast is a good Bowser Jr. also. Okay. Well, we see the switch to Battlefield. Uh, yeah, I actually like this a lot. Um, and probably going to be... Like, uh, when he mecha or jumps from the, the con car, it's harder to put the Mecha Koopas out like that because it lands on the platform. So they're not just going to take stage control uh, on the on the main stage. Ah, okay. Oh, no. So, Why yeah. can't Bowser Jr. No, do so, that? Um, if, if Bowser Jr. doesn't jump from the side B, then he can use another side B, I think. That's what it was. Really? Yeah. Okay. So if you just, like, do the brakes in the air, then you can still use side B after. But if once he jumps, then he can't use side B anymore. Or okay. he can't use it. Okay. Well, he might be able to use side B, but he can't do a, a, like a double jump side B. Gotcha. But right off the start, we see Magnetok kind of just taking an early percent loss here. As Mr. R is playing his patent, in, you're, not, you're on this ledge. You're not playing me in neutral. And uh, Magnetok sitting at 95% already. He hasn't really been able to touch Mr. R at all. Uh, just, I think Mr. R is just a lot more private yeah, to the other thing. We have a zero to death coming. Oh, yeah. I think he's just being a lot more privy to the side B gimmicks and the down air mix ups. He's just respecting everything now instead of just challenging a side B here or there. He's just making sure that, hey, I'm oh, going to block. Are, I don't like that from uh, Magnet Talk. Um, the down air and the up smash. So there's a lot of shield pressure, even though it got him punished. And then, I forgot that's also another thing um, mm -hmm. that Bowser Jr. does have with the down air on the shield. Um, you can be really ambiguous with how you land on it because you don't know if Bowser Jr. is going to land in front of you or behind you. Oh, yeah. So that's how you're going to punish it. Um, so if, unless you have a move, that like can hit all around you, which she does I think with neutral air, but I think neutral air is sort of unsafe at you know like low percent on hit. Right. Um, but it's, uh, but like if you don't know like usually you want to get like a forward tilt or grab off of it, um, but you don't know which way Bowser Jr. is gonna like be on your shield after it. Oh yeah. So. But apparently right now Mr. R does. He's doing a great job of just keeping Bowser Jr. off stage and walled out. Okay, not respecting it there. It's gonna take some percent, but honestly this is. It's, it's looking a little bleak. Is that going to do it? Yeah, yeah that's going to do it. Okay. So good stuff to Mr. R. Uh, just immediate adaptation in that third game. Just making sure to respect all of Bowser Jr. shenanigans. Yeah. The not getting choice it. was really good, too. Oh, yeah. Making sure that, again, like you said, Clown Car was a, less of a factor in that match because you have to put it on the platform. And just making sure to respect down air and side B and just saying, hey, I see your gimmicks. I'm not getting hit by them anymore. Just going to shield it, respect it, and just punish accordingly. So good stuff to Mr. R taking that game solidly.